on February the 3rd, around the wide world of HypoWorld. Here's your HypoWeather Bulletin. Uh, not much has changed today, a little bit has. Geelong, still a Cat 5. Chris, making landfall, has made landfall in Queensland, but looks like it's going to go loop the loop Now, Dylan is also on the western coast of Australia and hasn't moved at all in the last 24 hours. <laughs> Here's the North Atlantic, no systems active at this time, whoop de doo no surprise yet again. The East Pack, we have actually put 90C on the map this time, we didn't yesterday, and there it is, very low latitude, around 4.5 degrees north, 70% chance of formation. Geelong, slightly weaker now, but still a very intense typhoon, 185 miles an hour. And here are the two Australian storms, Dylan and Chris Dillon, which is somehow subtropical because the SSTs were too low. Here's Geelong right now, pressure's lower than it was at this time yesterday, 892. That's because this storm peaked with winds of 195 miles per hour earlier on February the 2nd, which we didn't show. 621 miles now from Samar in the Philippines. So, reached that peak intensity, pressure of 887 millibars, and now steaming off towards the northwest at pace at the minute. Uh, it's probably going to slow down eventually as quite a few storms do in the western part of the Philippine Sea at this time of year and weaken substantially down to category one status and possibly further as we get a better idea further on of what this storm is actually going to do. Here it is right now. Current conditions not quite as perfect as they were yesterday but still pretty darn good will probably sustain Category 5, although those conditions are still waning uh, progressively. So we'll probably start to see weakening accelerate over the next few days here on the forecast track. Likely to lose major typhoon status just after the 72 hour mark there. This is Chris. As you can see, there it is, going around in circles. Uh, too many Davidisms tonight. Uh, but there it is now, uh, it hasn't been over land for very long, likely to emerge back over the coral sea and then pivot round, end up towards Brisbane. Here we are then on February the 3rd, it's the Force 13 website's birthday today, uh, 8 years old now, would you believe, and there's been plenty of revisions over the years. On that website you can find the Hypo Earth Tracker, force13.com forward slash Hypo Earth Cyclone Tracker. I think that's right. Next name in the West Pacific is Haruka, and the next name in the North Indian Ocean is Biman. If that storm forms in the Central Pacific, that invest is going to be Akamu. In the Australian region, the next name is Emma. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, it's Davy, and in Fiji, it's Deep Shika. That's all for now. We'll see you again soon. Probably not very soon, because I'm away tomorrow for a few days and we don't know what we're doing with the Hypo Earth just yet, so we'll keep you posted. <laughs>